Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Bunny Says. I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Testament of Sherlock Holmes. Let's uh, resume our game. Now, I specifically remember there was a... <laughs> we were trying to figure out the... Okay, let me talk to Watson right here. I haven't finished my analysis. Oh, okay. All right. So, I was trying to analyze the... Now, I remember... Yes, the... Now, these are all red now. Are they supposed to turn green? Have I got them right? Or... Okay, now I know the air, the rope is one on one side. I specifically remember this. The soil was from a pit because he specific... Holmes himself said it was from a pit. He said it wasn't from, because... Remember Watson said something. He said it wasn't from a river bank or a well because it would have been too wet. Would... Okay. The rope was worn on one side, so it, I'm, I'm, I'm assuming it was always, that wasn't always used from the same side. How could you possibly do that? I mean, it was used from the same side. It was, it was not manufactured on one side. So, the, I'm assuming the rope was used to lower something into a pit. I'm assuming a grave, right? I mean, where are the rope and the fragment of granite are? are uh, the earth, the rope, and the fragment of granite come from two. Well, I don't know. I mean, the tombstone in fact, you lowered the tombstones with a rope or what? Uh, let's assume it comes from a grave. Okay. So it was from a pit. Okay, the earth and the stone are from a pit near a monument. From a cave or from a building? Well, well, if it's lowering a grave, it's not from a cave. Well, maybe it's, well, maybe it is a cave. But Building. By the way, uh, if you have any suggestions uh, whatsoever, <laughs> I'm not too proud to beg. <laughs> if you happen to be watching this, uh, if you know of anything, I would uh, I would not be adverse to reading some of the comment. I would might <laughs> help me out a bit. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to mention that. Um, all right. I don't know. Let's leave it as a monument for right now. Okay. The fragment of granite painted black. This fragment from painted rock. Well, how? I don't. This fragment comes from monument painted. Well. Well, for assuming it's from a monument, you know, this fragment comes from a granite wall, but it's, it's, if we're assuming it's from a pit near a monument, then a black monument? I mean, so the Whitechapel Clinic is near a... Now I can make the right decision. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> what did did this hit? I just picked up one thing and then suddenly it all, it all turned green. Uh, okay, so the uh, hold on. I haven't finished my analysis. Yes, I know. What is? What I is need that? something. Okay. 
No. I can analyze the chemical composition of a substance here. Of a substance, okay, like. Oh! Okay. Hey, no, 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 go back. I didn't see that message. Um. Instructions, here we go. To an oh, thank God they, thank God they thought of that. To analyze the evidence, add liquid from the test tube. Use all active ingredients to work on all of its characteristics. Wait, am I even supposed to be using this? Or is this, I mean, what are these ingredients? I mean, are these, what, okay. <clears throat> Did I, okay. What, what, what was that thing anyway? Was that the broken fragment, the, okay. Okay, well, that fatality, aggressiveness, degeneration of skin tissue, and muscular stimulant. I assume those are to uh, What are you? How is this one here? I haven't finished my analysis. No, oh, wait, I wanted to rotate that. Why didn't I rotate? Oh, okay, look at that, it's rotated. What does that mean? Watch your stimulant. Fatality. Why is it fatality twice? Where's the yellow one? Why is it doing that? <clears throat> okay, I'm not exactly sure how to... All right, well, let's, to analyze the evidence, add liquid from the test tube. Use all active agents to work out all of its characteristics. Okay, so I get, I mean, I guess we just start adding stuff, right? I mean, well, okay, what was that? Wait, 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 wait did that again? Yet. A brown, a green, two greens. Oh, what? Oh, God damn it! I can't do it again. Okay. Oh, I have to be fair on that now. Okay. Three browns and two silvers. Okay. I haven't finished my analysis. No. No, I keep on... Okay, I keep on clicking on the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I haven't finished my analysis. No. <laughs> okay. Okay, I keep naturally right-clicking, thinking that it's... No. No. I haven't finished my analysis. I know. There we go. Left kick is rotate. Okay, it's a green... Okay, let's, let's see what this is about. Okay, three silver and two brown. Two brown and three silver. Okay, left click. So there's, okay, there's the yellow one. Two green and a blue. So it's two green and a blue. So, okay, let's try the red one. Three brown, three green. Okay. Three, three brown, three green. I need the orange one. I used up all the orange. Let me go back. I keep thinking I can right click to go back. I must analyze the clues. Okay, so maybe I should re I gotta reset this, I think. Okay, there we go. I must analyze the clues. Okay, let's let's try the Do I get all my chemicals back? Okay. 
Two green, brown, and a blue. Okay, that's it. Two green, brown, and blue. Got that one. This is three brown, three brown, and two silver. Okay. Three silver, two brown. What happens when I get this? Two, two, two green and a blue. Okay, two green and blue. Okay. There it is. Three green, three brown. That's right. Okay. Oi. Oh, what? No. No, go back. What? Oh, I pressed the button just so we can be stalking. Results of the analysis of the poison administered to the Bishop of Knightsbridge, a substance that provokes a heightened aggression close to madness. Death by cardiac arrest. Poison. Discreet, efficient, and only detectable via a thorough post-mortem. Have you been able to isolate the active components, Holmes? Not with any certainty. This toxic substance surpasses my own knowledge in the field. It is without doubt the work of an expert chemist. A chemist mm. and a criminal. As you say, please find my monograph on poisoners of the last 30 years. Really? Okay. There's a monograph on poisoners. Let me see. I'm assuming it's here. General this practitioner? One? That won't be of any use to me. Okay. Is it this one? Or, 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 no. Female um. anatomy. Hmm. I should put this book somewhere else. Hmm. Probably should. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's, let's look over here. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I never actually did look at these other books. Because I can't. Okay, what did you put your book on poisons? <laughs> no. Talk to me. What is this? Hans Schielman, aka the Rat Killer. Scott of Vineyard. German. Man present London's life. What is this? Found guilty of the following charges. Poisoning, attempted poisoning, theft, and receiving chemical substances, murder and attempted murder, kidnapping with aggravated circumstances, cruelty to animals, hit and run, illegal use of chemicals, manipulation of the weak, drunk and charged. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the high treason wasn't, he didn't have any treason charges in there too? Jesus. Okay. History and description of the individual. Despite numerous mental problems and neuroses, Hans Schielman is an exceptional chemist and an equally remarkable mathematician. Wow, really? At the age of 21, his unstable and violent character resulted in his expulsion from the University of Vienna, hmm. where he had excelled in his chosen subjects. Excuse me. After being expelled, he was not heard of again for four years. He was captured and arrested in June 1864 during the case of NX2552A, the Stuttgart poisoning, Stuttgart poisoning, in which he was the principal subject, suspect. He escaped before being sentenced and vanished again. A number of elements suggested that he had found refuge in London. An investigation undertaken by Scotland Yard found him living and the stolen identity of one Leonardo Itizia. Itizia. However, the officers who came to arrest him were poisoned. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he escaped once again. He even arrested the... Wow. He even arrested the police who came to get him. Our informants picked up his trail again in 1880. I don't know, when were they going to get him? 
Wow, so that's 14 years later, 16 years later. He's 25, he'd be 35, he'd be 41. Armed Reformist picked up Australia again in 1880 and an ancient factory converted into a clandestine chemical laboratory. Wow, he just wouldn't stop, huh? Shannon was absent during the search. From the documents found inside the laboratory, we learned that he had a diabolical plan to mine. His goal was to poison the drinking water reservoirs in several parts of, of the city. Oh, well. Okay, so he's he's not small time, is he? He's just... When was that? 1880? He wants to kill everybody. To this day, his motives remain unclear. His arrest on 5-5-1888 was due entirely to chance. He was recognized by a police officer while stumbling around in a state of inebriation, shouting of his intention to poison the entire city. <laughs> isn't, that the, isn't that the way? You get this incredible plan, and then it's just like, some stupid thing just messes it up. <laughs> Sending the interrogations following it, that reminds me of like, uh, <laughs> Leroy. Leroy, uh, what's his name? <laughs> Leroy Jenkins, there. Well, if his interrogations following his arrest have provided any conclusive information, Hans Schielman broke his silence only with in incoherent comments. So, why not? Does that mean I get. So, am I giving him this? No. Um, So, this is the book I'm giving him. No. Why did you put your poison book, for God's sake? Shouldn't you be poison book hanging around? It's probably in your bedroom. Look at virulent poisons. No, this is my bedroom. really pretty. I love how they give character these to the to the characters. They look he has this little violin and look at his his even his even his like look his blanket. This Anyhow, bust this. was used to fool Colonel Moran during the case of the empty house. Oh <laughs> oh wow they really went, they really went for this. I paid a dollar ninety nine for this game. I feel like I stole from them. Well, let me hold on to that reservation until I find out if the game just constantly, constantly crashes or something. I just wow! I feel like I totally already got my dollar ninety nine's worth already. There's no point in going there. I mean, I mean, honestly, just you could buy it on Amazon for a dollar ninety nine. Honestly. And this is how my dear friend and colleague treats his clients' letters. Well, okay. <laughs> okay, let's. I think it's in my room. Okay, his book on poisons. Not in my room, is it? Can't be. Okay. Did okay, do I have the book on poisons? What <laughs> what in my inventory or in this Okay, let me hold on, let me Okay, no, I mean, okay, here we go. Uh, okay, let's, 
was the last thing he said. And she said, please find my monograph on poisons of the last 30 years. Okay, it's his monograph. Okay. Well, that, I guess that's, I imagine that would be it. Let me talk to him and see what he says. Oh, what's this? The work table, where Holmes analyzes things. Okay. Let me talk to him. Maybe the Hans According Schielman to these documents, is. Hans Schielman, known ah. as the Rat Killer, was considered the greatest specialist in chemical poison in the world. Is he at liberty? Happily, no. He has been held in the high security wing of London's Westgate prison for many years now. Then he cannot mm. be the one who concocted the poison. Don't dismiss him too quickly, Watson. No, According to Scotland true. Yard, the man is exceptionally intelligent. For the greatest criminals, prison is but a mere obstacle. Let's plan a little visit to see Mr. Shieldman tomorrow. I, I haven't finished my analysis. Oh, whoa. Okay. I'm going back to show I was going to say, people can visit him in prison and he can instruct them. So, okay, I mean... Has he finished his analysis? I thought he did. Okay, so, alright. Okay, let's go back to this for a second now. The Whitechapel Clinic is near a grave. Now, there was the... The, the knife had the W... W C C H. Oh yeah, that's right. What was okay? Okay. Well, what? Okay. So I guess the White Chapel Clinic is near a grave. So near the White Chapel Cemetery, near a tombstone factory in White Chapel, or near the White Chapel warehouses, the White Chapel's granite quarry. Near the large repair site in Whitechapel. Well, I guess they're in the cemetery? The public dispensary number 4661. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's just opposite the Whitechapel Street Cemetery. Yes, Watson. The murderer with the missing finger must work in the cemetery, or at least visit it. He could have taken a rope, one of the type they use to lower the coffins into the graves. Yeah. The granite is minute particles of tombstone. And he only had to cross the road to steal a scalpel from the dispensary opposite. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Let, Let us look at our deduction board, Watson. Okay. Let me do that again. Just the deduction board or Okay, I mean I'm so glad they really thought of the the stuff that the people said and Okay, let's look at our deduction board. Where's that? Let's where's wasn't there a key for the deduction board? I'm sorry, hold on. This one's up in the controls. The uh, deductions in. Okay, yeah. Okay. So, in. Okay, deduction nice bridge. Oh, man. There's Oh wow, this is more. Oh, okay. Oh god, more really. Okay. The man, this this really sort of who would have thought this is so hard? Okay, the bishop nodded himself. Okay, we really? Okay, the bishop nodded himself. Okay, the finger. The bishop tore his aggressive finger off with his teeth. Okay, so it was the bishop. He, okay. The bishop nodded himself. So the... No, the bishop didn't want to kill himself. The bishop fought his aggressive savagely. I guess. Oh, wow. 
Well, he could have got mad from the poison if they were talking about the poison. Was okay. All right, let's look at the flask here. The broken flask. Oh, yeah, that's right. They gave him the flask. That's there was a broken flask there, so they gave him poison. Okay, the broken flask has some blood in its top. The murderers tortured the bishop with a broken glass. Really? I don't know about that. I mean, the, it has some blood at its top. The murderers made the bishop drink blood. The murderers made the bishop drink the contents of the flask. That's what I was thinking. They were just shoving it down his throat, and if he didn't drink it, it broke. And let's keep that. I think they made it. Okay, here's poison. Alright, let's. The flask contains a poison that causes madness. We know that. Because. Okay. The murderers had a poison that causes madness. The bishop's murderers are lunatics. <laughs> Bishop murderers are vampires. Okay. Uh, no, they had a poison that causes madness. Okay, the bishop and murderers are hired by someone. There's a four, they're hired by someone. They didn't get what they wanted. The bishop resisted their torture. And let's, let's. Bishop went mad. That's it. I knew it. Perfect. Well done, That's Watson. It. Our board is finished. It confirms that the bishop's murderers work for one person, who, amongst other things, possesses a very sophisticated poison. They therefore act for someone more educated than themselves. Ooh, can he be more you remember Wiggins and his gang, the Baker Street Irregulars? Yes, mm. the street urchins, whom you employ upon occasion, and Wiggins is their leader. Yes. Well, I have hired their yes. services again. I have instructed them to find out the address of the bishop's nephew. I think he's here. Bishop's nephew, okay. <laughs> this yeah, is Mr. Wiggins, Rimes. really? Wiggins, oh, my young cool. friend. Have you found the information for which the good Dr. Watson is going to pay you? Yes, Mr. Oh. Holmes, it was easy. <laughs> Very well, I understand. Uh, here are a few pennies. Thanks, Dr. Watson. Uh, the oh, man you're looking for lives near Kensington. Does he live alone? Yes, but he went to room for an old lady. Did she see you? No, Mr. Holmes. No one saw me. Perfect. Watson, give our young friend another shilling as a reward for his discretion. Okay. Okay. Here we That's go. That's more again. like it. But of course. A shilling. That's a lot of money back right then. I'm falling asleep, Holmes. Aren't you tired? No, I have an exceptional constitution. I can't remember ever having been fatigued by work. Idleness, on the other hand, exhausts me completely. Go to bed, <laughs> Watson. The night will be short. We leave at dawn. Hmm. Good morning, stay Holmes. At dawn. Did you get any rest? I did not attempt to sleep. Have you managed to come to any conclusions? I hmm. think that we might follow three trails. We can visit Whitechapel to try to discover the identity of the murderers by making inquiries at Dispensary 4661 I'm thinking and that might be at the Whitechapel idea. Street Cemetery. The poison trail seems more important to me. We should perhaps go to Westgate Prison first to see Hans Shieldman. Yes, and let us not forget the bishop's irascible nephew, whose address we now have, thanks to my Baker Street irregulars. I have located each place on our map of London. Holmes, let me remind you that we still have not been officially instructed to investigate this affair. Ah, That's well, true. we will just have to hide that small detail. God, I just love the elaborateness of this entire game. This is just wonderful. Now, I remember... I, I used to watch the Sherlock Holmes. I watched the old ones. The real, real old ones. And the, from the, the old black and white ones and stuff. And... and uh, 
Yeah, and I watch the movies, and the movies, the movies are good, but it, it's just, it's sort of like, they're sort of action oriented for this sort of, like a millennial generation, that type of thing, but the, the, to me, the consummate home stories were the, with the ones with Jeremy and Brett that I used to watch on PBS. In America, they would have a thing called Masterpiece Theater on PBS, which is a public broadcasting system. It's a sort of educational system. They have a lot of um, British programming and stuff. And that's on Channel 2 on Channel 44 in Boston, in this area. And I used to watch all the time the Jeremy and Brad stories that never... They were fantastic. They were, I mean, they were, to me, they were the ultimate. They were so moody and so, just so great. I mean, he wasn't exactly, like, tall or tall as, it, it didn't matter. It was just, it was the mood and the fantastic sort of gothic mood to the stories that were just, they were just so spot on that if you read the books, you you think like that's that's it, that's perfect. I mean, uh, Sherlock Holmes is not a he's not an action figure. He he he's certainly capable of running around when the 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 story hits him when the, the criminals uh, when the criminal investigation sort of hits him, but. He, he's not some, he's not some running around like the, uh, the movies, you know, he's, he's not like that. He's far more prone to, uh, uh, lazy, <laughs> laziness, to be honest. Okay, so let's talk to Watson for a second. What should we do next, Holmes? We must explore all our leads. Let us take a look at the map of London. Okay. We're getting on about 30 minutes, so a little bit more than 30 minutes. I'm going to, let's see, let's take a look at the map for a second. Where's the map? Here's the map, okay. Now we could go to Kensington Gardens or Westgate Jail. Now, Watson recommended the jail and go see Shieldman. It sounds pretty interesting to me. Before we go to the gardens and check out the cemeteries, I think we'll take his advice <clears throat> and head to the Westgate Jail. So, now we're heading on about 35 minutes for this episode, so I'm going to call it here. And I'm going to appreciate the beauty of this, uh, this setting here. This is really fantastic. I really went out of my way for this game. I, I think I will pick up, I would think I will definitely pick up more of these games. Oh, absolutely. If they, if they use the same system and stuff, I, I really want to check them out. This reminds me of how I had wanted to do readings of Sherlock Holmes for ASMR sort of readings of Sherlock Holmes. Which I think I will do. And I just love his, look, look at his, his wardrobe, it's just fantastic. And I mean, look at Watson. He just looks great. I really appreciate this game. Okay. I just hope it doesn't start crashing all kinds of places and stuff. Okay, in the meantime, uh, please join me again. I'm really, actually, really interested in this game. This is, this, this is really interesting to me a lot. I really like this. I'm going to keep on playing it, so. Um, please join me again. Um, okay.
he ever wants his waistcoat and his his um his you know his tie and it's really period authentic I mean really fantastic look at this look at his vest look at Holmes's vest <clears throat> you have the absolute um it looks absolutely like that thick cloth that you would get like cotton cloth like that like it's just it's stunning his face he looks they really made a good looking I mean they really made a good looking one um Sherlock Holmes he should <coughs> Sherlock Holmes he should be a little bit taller maybe but they do say he isn't too tall, but he sort of looms, so he feels taller because of his sort of looming and his sort of hawk-like sort of stature. So, and the Watson, the Watson looks very good. I'm quite impressed by this. I really am. And I, and I, honestly, I am a sort of a Holmes aficionado. I so I really, really often go back to home stories and read them and things. So well, let's see what this is. Oh, what? No. Is there a new story here? Oh, okay, hold on. <clears throat> the Globe Explorer. Sherlock Holmes, the forger. Following the results of our investigations into Mr. Sherlock Holmes, it would appear that this sinister character once double-crossed the police. In the engineer's thumb case, indeed, it would seem that several of the criminals who took part in this story of forged money have reappeared and have been in contact with the famous detective. At the present time, our sources are attempting to uncover more detail, but it is clear if Sherlock Holmes has found these criminals, why has he not informed the police? Holmes's complicity in this case leaves no shadow of a doubt, but as a measure of fairness and lack of tangible evidence, we prefer to investigate to continue our investigations. Byline O'Farley. O'Farley. Can't wait! I and I so want to meet this O'Farley and just just get a piece of my mind. Honest to God, nothing interesting. Yes, I agree. So in the meantime, hmm, some letters. I actually. <laughs> I still don't remember this Toby, <laughs> this uh, rug. It says Toby. I, I, don't, I don't exactly remember that from when it says Rug. I'm going to go back and start reading these stories again a lot. This makes me really, really, really want to re go back and read like the sign before and the Hans Baskervilles. And start reading some of the stories a lot. Which I think I will do. So, in the meantime, uh, this is what he says. It's about 8 to 40 minutes. So, uh, thank you for joining me. I, I hope you enjoy these as much as I do. I'm, now, I'm a, I'm a big fan, so. I obviously get a lot more pleasure out of it than maybe the average gamer, but uh, I hope you can share my enthusiasm and appreciate what is going on. And uh, and just to share, I appreciate a, a so far a pretty fairly decent game that really uh, pays homage to the. Sherlock Holmes 
stories, so and I will certainly be looking forward to more. Uh, please show me again for the next episode. Um, if you enjoy this, please like and subscribe. You know, the usual, you know, no pressure. But, um, hope you enjoy this so uh okay next time we're going to go i think we're going to go to the go see i i think we're going to go to the westgate jail i i, I want to take a, i want to talk to shieldman first before we start going to the um the grave sites in the uh dispensary so that's what we'll be doing next episode so Thank you for joining me. I hope you join me again. And uh, take care of yourself. I hope to see you again soon. So goodbye for now.